One of my favorite Desmos activities is marble slides. The cheesy reason is that it puts the fun back in functions. But more specifically, I like how you can create these challenges that get progressively harder and the game-like nature of collecting the stars keeps kids wanting more. It really does redefine what practicing math means. Now you can use the original Desmos marble slides if you want, but in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own. The first step in creating a marble slides is to turn on Desmos Labs. To do this, drop the menu down on the top right by your login name and click on the Desmos Labs link. Make sure Marble Slides is checked off and maybe check off Card Sort while you're at it. Click the Save and then click on Custom to create your new activity. As you normally would, you click on New Activity and give your activity a name and now on the right hand side you should see Labs as a new choice. Click there and you can now choose to add a Marble Slides page to your activity. What you will see is the typical Desmos graph, now with two new additions, a place to enter the coordinates of where the marbles will fall from and where the stars you have to collect will go. You can try it out as soon as you enter the coordinates and it's worth reminding you that when the marbles fall, they do so as if they were under the influence of gravity. And again, once you type in the coordinates of all the stars, you can try it out. That's the easy part. The hard part is figuring out what you will have your students do. Whatever you decide, keep in mind that you have the falling marbles. They have to collect the stars and they can roll on functions to do so. So you might want to start with the solution function you expect your students to use. In my case, the first marble slides I made was done with rational functions, and so I'll add that here. Once you have your function, decide where your marbles will fall from, and then test it out to see that the function becomes the barrier for your marbles to roll on. Now that you know where the marbles will roll, decide how many and where you want to put the stars for collection. So once you have the answer, you have to modify it so that students have something to do in order to collect the stars. So you might wreck your solution so that students have to fix it. You might have a challenge where students have to change one number like this one. You might give them a function with the wrong domain so they have to fix it in order for it to work. Or you might just put the marbles and the stars on the page and have students create their own solution from scratch. Of course, regardless of what you are having them do, jot down some instructions for them to use. As you create these, check your preview often to see what students will see. And depending on how comfortable your students are with marble slides, you may want to start how the original marble slides started, with some examples of some completed configurations, and then work your way up from these simple challenges to more complex ones. Either way, you want your students to be challenged at the appropriate level where there is still sufficient difficulty, but it is still fun. And that's as hard as it is to create a marble slides. 